Strengthening Faith 126 I had a thought which I wanted to share. When one observes the blessed life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, they will clearly see that he was tested every step of his life, even though he was the most beloved creation of Allah, the Exalted. Therefore, a test and difficulty is not a curse or a sign of a wretched life. It is in fact an opportunity for a person to shine and accumulate an abundant reward. Chapter 39 as Zuma, verse 10. The patient will be given their reward without account, i.e., limit. One must bear this in mind whenever they face tests and difficulties so that they can remain patient and grateful, like he did. Furthermore, even though the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, faced continuous difficulties and tests, yet throughout every stage his heart was at peace. This peace was obtained as he persistently used the blessings he was granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted. Chapter 13 Arad, verse 28 Unquestionably, by the remembrance of Allah do hearts find peace. And chapter 16 and Nal, verse 97 Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. But the one who fails to imitate him will find nothing but a dark and suffocating life, even if they have the world at their feet. Chapter 20 Taha, verse 124 But whoever turns away from my reminder will certainly have a miserable life. Therefore, using the blessings one has been granted correctly is the difference between obtaining peace of mind and a miserable life, even if one faces difficulties or times of ease. In addition, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, dedicated his life to guiding mankind towards the pleasure of Allah, the Exalted. It is important for Muslims to follow in the footsteps of his companions, may Allah be pleased with them, who remain steadfast on his teachings after his passing. All Muslims desire his company in the hereafter, but they will only receive it if they follow his path. A person will not end up with their companion, who journeyed along a specific path, if they journey down a different path. Similarly, Muslims will not join the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, in the hereafter, if they walk a path other than his. This is only achieved by learning and acting on his blessed life and teachings. This is the reason why none of his companions, may Allah be pleased with them, simply declared belief with their words, and refrained from practically following him, as they knew this attitude would prevent them from joining him in the hereafter. This was in fact the attitude of the other nations who claimed to love their holy prophets, peace be upon them, yet failed to practically follow them. This is why they will not join their holy prophets, peace be upon them, in the hereafter. Also, when observing the blessed life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and by extension, the lives of his companions, may Allah be pleased with them, one understands that the only way a person can have a meaningful, valuable and purposeful existence, is by fulfilling the purpose of their creation. Chapter 51 Ad Dariat, verse 56 And I did not create the jinn and mankind, except to worship me. This is only achieved when one practically obeys Allah, the Exalted, by using the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to him, which is explained by the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Simply declaring faith verbally, without supporting it with physical actions, is like a vase which looks beautiful outwardly but is hollow inside. This will not lead to a meaningful existence in this life, even if one ends up in paradise in the hereafter. This is hinted in a narration found in At Tabaranis, Al Mujam Al Kabir, narration 182, volume 20, which warns that the only thing a person will regret in paradise are the times during their life on earth when they did not remember Allah, the Exalted. Meaning, the times during their life they did not fulfill their purpose of creation by correctly using the blessings they were granted. This is the reason why many Muslims, who only fulfill the basic obligatory duties, still feel a void in their lives. A void that nothing can fulfill except embracing one's purpose completely and practically. In addition, generally speaking, people become pleased when they inherit worldly things such as wealth from others. But the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, did not leave behind wealth for people to inherit. He, like the other Holy Prophets, peace be upon them, left behind knowledge. 
This is confirmed in a narration found in Sunan ibn Majah, number 223. Therefore, Muslims must take a share of this inheritance if they desire to be his true heirs. Finally, the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is the perfect example of how a Muslim must fulfill their duties to Allah, the Exalted, and to the creation. He is the practical representation of the Holy Quran. Therefore, Muslims must study and act on his blessed life in order to fulfill their duties correctly. Success is not possible without this. Chapter 33 Al-Azab verse 21 There has certainly been for you, in the Messenger of Allah, an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the last day, and who remembers Allah often. And Chapter 3 Ali Imran verse 31 Say, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. If you should love Allah, then follow me, so Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. And Chapter 4 and Nisa verse 80 he who obeys the messenger has obeyed Allah. And chapter 59 Al-Hash verse 7. And whatever the messenger has given you, take and what he has forbidden you, refrain from. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.